What's up, y'all? Twisted Minds out rolling around. I uh, getting ready to head to the gym, do a little working out. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since I posted anything. Hadn't put nothing out in a little bit, you know. I've been busy. I got a life, peeps. I'm not all about how many subscribers I can get daily and, you know, uh, I got a life, I got a job, I got kids, I got a wife. And I enjoy riding and not having to talk to myself every single time I ride too, so, you know. This curve right here used to be so much fun until I wrecked in it. As you see all these little patches down through here, for some reason, our county decided that it was a smart way to patch a road by cutting out the concrete, or cutting out the asphalt, I mean, pouring tar down, and dumping gravel on top of it. Well, as you fellow bikers know, and people that don't even ride, you can tell, uh, all that loose gravel goes into the center of the road. I used to hit that curve back there that I went around like a grandma. I used to hit it. Hey, a stocky. Anybody need a stocky? Anyway, um, I used to hit that curve around eh, 70 mile an hour, 60 on my slow days. And uh, I love that curve. Went around it one time slow. For the very first time I went around it slow, I was running maybe 35, hit loose gravel, both tires went right out from underneath me. I went down on my shoulder, laid the bike down, I rolled, and whenever I fell initially, I landed on my shoulder with all my weight, plus the force of the speed that I was going. Everything ended up on my shoulder, which caused an AC separation and a clavicle separation, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it sucked. I went to work the next day, worked straight through it, and as y'all know, I'm a truck driver. I haul cars for a living, so I have to strap down all them cars on my truck. Yeah, I learned how to do everything with the other arm. Uh, doctor said pretty much, you know, back then, that, uh, that it was just a slight separation. Well pretty sure I broke it because I've still got I got a calcium deposit on it now a big knot pretty sure it was broken when they x-rayed it I was blown up like a balloon but anyway that's eh, just a little story about the curve no biggie but uh as y'all know I ramble on and on look at this jackass let's wait till the last fucking minute to turn left hey I need a hot dog let's go cocksucker anyway uh, as I said I'm heading to the gym enjoying a nice little ride on the bike it's a little cool feels good i ride all year round so it don't bother me i've been riding in the sleep before uh, you know I, I try not to be an idiot i try to be smart about it if it's snowing or raining and freezing and there's ice and all that i'm probably not gonna ride but temperature wise i don't care but as far as me been a minute since I've been able to put anything out. I know. I've had several people asking me when I was going to put something out. But like I said, I do got a life. Not only that, but I uh, lost my voice for about two weeks straight. Got real bad with a, a real bad sinus infection. Turned into a real bad upper respiratory infection. I lost my voice and I sound like a squeaky person. And, one minute I sound like Barry White talking real deep like this and then the next minute <laughs> you couldn't understand me because as I was talking my voice was in and out so I have ridden since I just haven't had my camera on so it is what it is but uh I kind of contemplated on getting out of this to be honest with you just because I don't have a whole lot of time uh, I haven't, I'm on the fence. I hadn't really made up my mind. I, uh, I enjoy doing it. It's fun. 
and no you purrs I'm not talking about that I'm talking about I enjoy videotaping and doing vlogging um, but you know I don't get to do it quite as often as I'd like uh, videotaping that is um, you know but I guess you know I could do it as I please had to make sure the camera's still on hadn't charged it in a minute so I didn't know what kind of charge it's gonna have but yeah um, still on the fence I don't know I got some money in my setup so I'm not trying to give it away uh, I'm not 100% sure that I wanted to get rid of it. Uh, like I said, on the fence. Uh, and it's not all about subscribers and comments. I, I do got a few loyal fans, one or two, you know, but <laughs> uh, just, uh, just time consuming, man. I mean, it can be great, it can be fun, but sometimes it's just. I had to make sure my mic was in good placement. I hope it still is. I hadn't checked it in a while, but anyway, it's got Velcro holding it in, so it should. But um, yeah, I probably won't get out of it. Eh, my stuff's bought and paid for. It's not like it's costing me anything, but you know, I guess the more comments and all that crap I get, the more people I have viewing my stuff. The, the more merrier but you know like I said I'm not like some of these people who got 300 plus uh, subscribers I don't get a shit ton of comments and I'm cool with that I don't care I don't got titties and I don't got a cute face you know I ain't no chick so what have you noticed a lot of girls get a lot and I do mean a lot of subscribers quickly and they're all the time getting watched and commented and all that. I ain't jelly though, I don't care. It is what it is. Uh, but you know, oh, time to go play on the industry. No, I'm not on the interstate yet. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, and by the way, for those of you that do keep up with my stuff, I should have shot between them. Oh well. For those of you that do keep up with my stuff, I still do not have a tag on my bike. My birthday's in February, so I was like, eh, screw it. I'll just deal with it then. I'll get a tag then. When I come back from my Florida vacation, it come off. Ah, you gotta love the winter. Well, it's not even winter, it's fall, but it's cool. It feels good. I'll ride in 30 degree weather, it don't bother me. The only thing I hate is how that fogs up inside the windshield. You can't see it, but I can. It's quite annoying. Anyways, I guess I'll cut this short. Uh, nah, screw it. Y'all can watch a long video. Y'all ain't seen me in a minute. It'd be all good. If you don't like it, you can always exit out. I don't care. It is what it is. Oh, and uh, for all those that have done all the performance upgrades and modifications that's got high boosters. Yes, I'm loving it. Um, I could definitely tell a big difference. My bike runs so much better. And even those of you that don't have a Hayabusa and ride all year round, I don't know if y'all have noticed with the cooler weather, the bikes run a whole lot better. Especially bikes that are ram aired like mine, which is nonetheless the majority of motorcycles on the road. Can we go? Come on. Oh, you cocksuckers. Man, we could have had that. <sighs> I'm suffocating in here. So, yeah. I've gotten into the 
probably can't hear me that great. I've gotten into working out a lot here lately. Enjoying it. I need to do it. I've done it at home and all that. I joined a gym over here in Douglasville. Do you fit? I decided uh, to join it. Uh, I know someone that joined it and really enjoys it. So, I was like, eh, I'll check it out. I was going to be a jerk and shoot around him, but eh, I got plenty of interstate to pass him. By the way, I hope no cop gets after me because I do not have a tag. I'm riding dirty. I'm sure y'all probably can't hear very much because I do have wind noise at high speeds. But uh, I had to get up to speed, of course, you know. I had to get out. That's my excuse, at least. Um, anyway, so I don't know what else to talk about. I could ramble on and on and on about other bullshit that's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm boring y'all to death by now. So, I guess I'll call her quits. Maybe I'll catch another video after the gym. Gotta go put in a couple hours at the gym and burn off some steam, pump some iron. And, uh, I guess I'll get back with y'all after I get done with that. But... For now, this is Twisted Minds, signing out. We'll talk at y'all after a while. Later. You gotta love when that fucking button don't wanna work. Piece of shit. <laughs>